I'm Fazal Sheikh, and I'm a photographer. I was born and raised in uh, New York City, Manhattan, and uh, went to university at Princeton University. But I'm a mixed parentage. My mother was American, and my father was Kenyan, but by way of India, and what would become, after partition, would become Pakistan on the northern border with Afghanistan. In general, I would say that much of my early work was born of this sense of duality within me. My first project, A Sense of Common Ground, was an inquiry into the legacy, left me my grandfather, but through my father in Kenya, trying to find a mode of representation that was in sync with my own sensibilities. My first body of work when I was first traveling back to Kenya it was on a Fulbright, but it was in a year in 1992 where 500,000 refugees had been flooding across the borders of the northern territories on the Sudanese, Ethiopian, and Somali border. And though I had never worked as a photojournalist, and this was not my intention, I thought that as this was the most pressing issue for the nation in that year, in those years, it was important to see if there was a means by which I could render what was going on. And I very quickly realized when I started work on the Sudanese border, with the permission from the United Nations High Commission for Refugee, which actually helped facilitate my movements, was that I wasn't particularly comfortable with moving into and through a community without their willingness or indeed without their collaboration. And in that moment of discomfort, it's a paralyzing aspect to it. And I decided not to work in those initial days, but soon then thought perhaps there was something of benefit in this idea of vulnerability, that if one could ask very simply and openly of a community their willingness to collaborate, to help instruct the process of documentation, that then it became something that I was working on with them as part of a community and in a way in deference to their voice, to their ideas of what was important. Many of the communities that I photographed at the outset were those that often had not been photographed before. And I quickly realized that this collaborative nature of even the formal aspects of the photograph was suiting me best. That meant that in most cases, a very simple openness to receive the gaze of the subject of the photograph. He looks or she looks to me as the photographer and by extension to the viewer. And this for me was the most effective means of rendering. I also realized quite early on that anything that I could impose by way of imagining how to present themselves to the camera inevitably paled in comparison to the way in which somebody presents themselves naturally. This meant that this collaboration in the rendering of the photograph was in large part made by virtue of a rapport with the subject, made by allowing the subject to present themselves as they felt most comfortable. It means at once a scaling back of one's own ego about how we can render a photograph and perhaps conversely, a receptivity or an awareness of the strength that the sitter has by virtue of the fact that they've lived in their bodies for their whole lives and they know what feels most comfortable for them, either as an individual presenting themselves to the camera or in groups of two or three, the kinds of gestures that they would concoct, that they would construct amongst themselves were inevitably far stronger than those that I could imagine. I hope you'll take the opportunity to visit the first floor gallery to follow the rest of the trajectory of my work from Afghanistan through Israel and Palestine.